Welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim. This is your host, Pat Gunn. And what we're doing is we are heading over to Craig's Lane Cavern to deal with the skooma problem in Riften. And I'm right by a giant. But he doesn't have a chest. And I... I'm not going to bother him, because I'm not up to fighting giants. Unfortunately, I think I hear a bear. Yeah, there's a bear ahead. Oh, and I'm also headed in the wrong direction. I want to be heading east, not west. Okay. Fortunately, that takes me away from the bear. Unfortunately, it takes me back by the giant, but provided that I keep my distance, the giant will probably not bother me. Giants are, um, they're interesting creatures to fight. They tend to have pretty good drops. Um, they often have the drops uh, that other adventurers who are trying to fight them uh, dropped. Oh, there's another bear. Great. And I want to be ahead and a little bit south. So there's a cave up there that I want to visit. But I need to get by this bear. And if you will remember, in the last walkthrough, I, got, I was killed by a bear. So hopefully I can manage to not get close enough for this bear to notice me. Uh-oh. Okay, this is not going to be quiet. Hopefully that did not alert the bear. Okay. I still hear the bear but it doesn't seem to be coming at me. Okay. Good. I'm pretty amazed that uh, Bethesda actually managed to make creep clusters look creepy. Since I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't initially think that you could make plants look creepy, but they managed, uh-oh, that is not a good sign. I hear a bear up there, maybe. I hear something up there. Oh, no. Okay. Let's see if I can manage to whirlwind sprint past him. And then uh, climb up here and go somewhere where he's not going to want to chase after me. That's probably my best shot at avoiding the bear. Behold, Dragonborn, our hero, running away from a bear. But it's true. And am I headed in the right direction? Okay, I want to be headed, like, due south. Where is south? South is up there. Okay. Well, the music stopped, so the bear probably stopped chasing me. And we've got to remember that we want to... Um, if we find Undead, we want to test uh, Jezargo's uh, spell on, uh, on the Undead. Ooh! This is a bandit nest. Okay. Oh, pooey. Fortunately, I am up on a hill, and the baddies have a tough time making it up. Well, not a tough enough time. Fortunately, Oh, did I... Did he fall enough to die? He might have fallen enough to die. Yeah, apparently so. Um, oh, 
pit wolf is back. But the wolf is not all that strong, so... There's another one. Okay. Moving right along. Actually, I'm kind of curious what that. Um, I did catch an illness, I think. Although that might have been in the version of me that got killed. I am not seeing any illness on here. So yeah, it might be good. Ooh, hello. What are you? You're a pit bull. And you are tough. Um, ordinarily, I actually would be inclined to let you go. But I am not strong enough to avoid being killed by you if I do that. So, where's the entrance to this place? So, sorry Mr. Wolf, but there's no way I can let you out, and the only humane way to deal with this is, yeah, so you don't starve to death in that cave. Look at me pretending to be ethical to an imaginary wolf. Of course, it's not fully imaginary in that Ooh, and these are tough bandits. And I can barely see it. Okay. I'm not gonna leave your axe there because it is not worth it to carry. Keep on moving. Oh yeah, I think I remember this place. Big open area, wolves in the middle. Ooh, and here's where I'm reminded that my sneak skill is badly deficient. Why is just standing there? But I am not going to complain too much. Especially if you don't attack me. So yeah, I have no idea why they're just hanging out back there. But they're not. I'm not going to complain too much. None of this stuff is particularly valuable. No. 
Okay. So, pressing forward. Looks like I'm doing okay so far. switch back to the bows since they don't seem to be approaching me. Although, well, I am puzzled as to why they're not approaching me. And it looks like they still can see that eye thing beginning to close. That is a sign that they're beginning to forget where I am. And they're... Huh. So they're actually pressed right against the wall. That was a dumb way to look for me. But now they're about to forget and walk away. Must have run off. Suits me fine. You can take one of these guys out. Let's see if Okay, now Unfortunately, oh. So there's a second time that I've died. <laughs> um, so the cutscenes where you end up killing uh, your foes, you typically do more damage than you normally do with uh, with a weapon. barely see you. So yeah, in the cutscenes you typically do more damage than you would normally do. Um, with, uh, with your weapon. And unfortunately your foes can do that too. So we're going to creep forward and see if we can more gracefully take out some of these guys. If we do end up being killed again, then I'm going to postpone uh, postpone this quest until later because I might not be tough enough to successfully manage it. Also might be a sign that I need to spend a little bit more to spend some more of my skill points on sneak related skills. Okay, so those good. Okay, let's see if if this will do. Now you would think if they were smarter as NPCs, they would realize that there is only one entrance to the place, and it is here, and they would come and check it out. Fortunately, they're not that intelligent. You did. Fortunately, you're stupid. Not that I can really claim Brilliant after having. Okay, that's another gambler dead. Playing this much more sneakily than before. And that's a fairly successful strategy. Okay, 
so they were coming up the stairs to check it out. Unfortunately, we may have been spotted enough where we won't be able to run anymore. We'll find out. Um, we might be good. So surprisingly, although I think I can understand as a programmer what it's like to implement most of the other bits of a game, and I actually have written games in the past, writing a good AI is one of the trickiest things that you can attempt to accomplish. Okay. So I can level up, and I will take a little bit more health, and we're going to improve our sneaking, I think. Now at some point we are going to want to get backstab and then deadly aim. Partic deadly aim is going to be particularly useful for us because we're going to be doing a lot of sneak uh, attacks with bows. But but yeah, the skill we did take is pretty useful. Cutthroat, that's not quite the right word. Okay, that's yet another critter dead. Unfortunately, the orc is still alive, and the orc is probably going to be the most challenging. slow down as we get nearby. We need to figure out where that orc is. Where are you standing, dude? Okay. Oh, except... So he's gonna run up towards us, and he will probably attempt to scale there. We are getting some good sneak training in. And, uh, let's see how we're doing. Okay, he's walking back to the bar, I think. I think he's walking back to the bar. Where is he? Oh, uh, he hasn't gone back yet. Is someone there? So let's see if we can still manage to be stealthy. So. Again, forgotten us, so we can scoot forward and and let's see where are you now? We could probably. You win. I submit. Okay, so I think we're done down here. Left hand and weapon. Good. 
and we can retrieve the arrow that we used and two arrows that we used on him we're going to keep on sneaking because there is a next room I think there might be somebody in that next room but yeah we're doing pretty well we get some mead and again you'll notice mead has a very high cost to, uh, to value ratio. Here's a skill book for lockpick, which is useful. Some more skooma and some other good stuff. Looking good. Okay, now there's the next room to take care of, and that is going to be the tricky bit. Unless it's empty. I don't, don't quite remember if it's empty or not. So we have our bow out, and we are tiptoeing in. And yeah, there is a guy there. Okay. Oh shoot. Let's see. If this guy doesn't know how to jump the fence, then we're probably good. But yeah, we're definitely having a sneaky day. And there he is. Unfortunately, our arrows just don't do a lot of damage to him because he is a very well-armored individual. At some point, we definitely need to deal with the problem of our having an inadequate damage output. Looks like he has calmed down. So we can scoot back in here and give him another arrow in the back. And let's scoot back here and hope that that is enough for him to lose sight of me. Of course there's somebody there. Who do you think shot two arrows into your back? Uh, well, I guess it's about to be three arrows. Really not a super observant person if... Anyhow. here and send a fourth arrow into his back. Or is it fifth? There. Losing track. And I don't feel comfortable heading over to ask him how many arrows I've shot at him. And I get the feeling that that would somehow be rude. Though maybe it would just be that firing arrows into someone's back is kind of rude. Yet again, the deal is you head up there. I'm gonna see if I can shoot him twice. And he is now running around outside the fence to try and find me. Fortunately, it's not too bright. Unfortunately,
unfortunately it's going to take him a while to calm down again. Uh, here's hoping he doesn't make it to me before he... Where are you? Okay, stop, stop. Okay, good. Uh, that was a close call. I would have had to have decided whether I wanted to... Um... Oh, he's going to hang out in here for a bit. Okay. Oh, you think so? And here he will kind of realize that this was not the smartest design for a lair. On the other hand, I am not finding it the easiest thing to navigate either. And it's a little hard to tell when he is running by. So... And we got him. Sweet. So we get his stuff. Might as well take that. And I think he might have had some more dogs back here though. So we're gonna get our sword ready and have Soul Trap in our left hand. What was it? Oh, but the dogs are stuck in cages. Okay, we don't need to worry too much then. Sorry, Doc. Oh, it is an ice wolf. I guess the spell did not manage to hit. Oh well. Or this, some skooma, mushrooms, nothing in here. And I'm picking up stuff I don't need, but that is fine. I can fix that later. Oh yeah, some nice rugs. Pity I can't grab them. I guess I'm actually pretty much done in here. I will keep on casting Illusion to work my way closer to uh, invisibility. Um, let's drop some of the stuff that we don't really need. By which I mean the plate, tankard, wooden bowl, and the basket. Stuff I accidentally picked up or that I thought might be easier to, uh, to sell than it seemed to be. And now we'll head out to Skyrim. So basically, I think we've wrapped up the main quest for uh, for Riften. And so we just need to do enough of the side quests and we'll be allowed to buy property. Or maybe we've done enough side quests. I'm. The number of side quests that you need to do differs uh, between uh, the different um, major cities, I think.
I swear this part of the game is meant to just sell figurines. Of course I don't know if they're actually selling figurines, but... Okay, so up we head to the Jarl's, um, Jarl's Keep in Riften, and we get to tell her that we have wrapped up the skooma uh, business. Welcome to Riften, Trap. Well, allow me to present you with this compensation okay. for your selfless efforts. What can I do for you? Okay, so we Sorry. haven't done enough. Well, as Riften's, the Jarl has put out okay. a bounty on the dragon. Handling the bounty will be another favor for the people. Take a look at this decree for details. Whoa. Oh. Yeah, I might have dropped these. It's kind of nice how they make the room uh, all pretty. So, some things to disenchant. And I guess some things to enchant. So one of the things you'll, you'll notice is that you can fill, uh, fill gems with souls that are smaller than the maximum capacity of the gem. It's not ideal, obviously, but it happens. You don't want to feel too bad about that. It is... Although, if you really want, want to avoid that kind of thing, then uh, you'll just want to make sure that you always carry a decent amount of souls and try to prevent yourself from ever uh, running out. And if you always have enough souls of all uh, sizes, then you will not typically have problems with uh, with uh, wasting uh, big uh, big soul gems on small souls. Okay, and uh, let's see what else. Hide shield. For soul gem resist magic looking good and i think that those are all the soul gems that i have so let's see is there any of this that i can sell to her i can sell the wolf queen So I'm going to buy some more soul gems. Although at this point, it isn't super useful for me to buy the uh, the biggest um, size soul gems because I'm not going to be strong enough to face monsters that drop the uh, that have gigantic souls. Uh, won't be ready to face them for a while. So if I buy them, chances are they'll end up being wasted. Okay, so I've wrapped things up with her. Um, huh. Welcome her. to Mistvale Keep. I'm Jarl Layla's steward, and you're real. I have to keep on uh, wandering around and trying to help the people of Rifton until I'm allowed to buy property. Now, what am I at? 305 with 375. Okay, I'm nearly full. Um, let's see. What brings you to Balam? Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Uh, looking to sell some stuff. So those are all the weapons I have to sell. I do have some armor to sell. Nothing but genuine fire sauce. Nothing like. Hmm. 
blades, helmets. Oh, and he has things. some enchanted stuff to sell. Nothing that exciting that I see so far. No, nothing super exciting. And what I can do is I can get some training in smithing Very well. to give him more gold to barter with. And I want to improve my smithing anyhow. So, it's worth noting that you can only uh, uh, train skills this way um, five times per level. But because it brings you closer to the next level anyhow, that isn't too tough a constraint. And that actually did improve my smithing enough to level me up. Backstab itself is not useful for me, but I know that... Um, I mean, it's not super useful for me. I'm not intending to ever get that close with my current skills. Deadly Aim will be rather useful for me because it buffs, uh, buffs a sneaky... Sneaky attacks with the bow. Everything I've got on display. Now let's see what I can sell to him. Control ring, not, not all that exciting. And he doesn't have anything I want to buy. You gonna see for yourself? Now she can train me in light armor, which is kind of useful. But you're gonna be picking that up without even trying over the course of the game, so. Getting that up to um, getting that up to a very high level is not super important. And here we can see that I already have a reasonable number of spells that are, I mean, I'm sorry, of potions that I'm not likely to use. Which is pretty useful because it means that as an income source, alchemy is already paying off pretty well. Yeah, faster regeneration is not super interesting to me. it effectively and keep you quick on your feet. See, I wish that I already had speechcraft up up to the level where um Actually, I'm going to try I'm going to try his uh his quest which introduces which will get me into uh the thieves guild. I'm not certain that I'll be able to manage this, but we'll find out. This is really the only type of quest where I'm intentionally going to uh, save scum it. So if I can't manage this, I will reload the game. Oh yeah, what am I doing? I'm stealing Medesi's ring. Come on, pretty off. What is it this time? Ancient friendship. It's a rare opportunity. I wouldn't want you. And that involves picking this lock. That's what you said about the And picking this strong box. See if I can get this open. Yes. And uh, what I need to do is actually slip this ring into the uh, pocket of, uh, of Branche. I 
have an 84% of 84% chance of making it. Um, apologies for the save scum and folk. I know that not everyone approves of this uh, kind of thing, to put it mildly. But. Unfortunately, the alternative is to, um, okay. Looks like I chose the right person for the job. And here you go. Your payment. Just as I promised. The way things have been going around here, it's a relief that our plan went off without a hitch. <laughs> Except for uh, my safe skimming. You did the job? All right then. The group I rep get there in one. Uh, my organization's been having a run of bad luck. But I suppose that's just how it goes. Come back when you go about it. Okay, so that taken care of, I also want to visit Temple of Mara, and Mara is the um, is the goddess of uh, of romance, I think. And you end up having a matchmaker quest. Uh, quest. Her blessings are many. To receive, are you prepared then? The dawn. Mara has the village. This it I will entreat Mara on your behalf. So this is a long uh, quest, well, mid-length quest really, that you wouldn't necessarily um, think is worthwhile, but the results of it are quite nice. Basically, yeah, you are helping the uh, the Temple of Mara play matchmaker uh, through various bits of Skyrim. And in return, you get a permanent buff that gives you, uh, I think it's a 10 or 20% magic resistance. And magic, the notion of what counts for magic in this game for purposes of magic resistance, it's pretty broad. Any fire... Um, uh, lightning or ice effect counts as magic, meaning that dragon breath uh, counts. Oh, shoot, what am I doing? So if you really want to be able to handle handle being breathed on by dragons, this will be a significant uh, significant step uh, towards that. Let me tell you, until a few months ago, to now, if I thought she was, it will pass. Look around here. Used to be a good-sized town. If all the young people leave, what happened? You know, and like Olvin, a little push, and this would all be simple. Just get out of town as fast as you can. Nothing for anyone here. Okay, so I spoke with her parents. Let's head into the house. I think I need to speak with her mom, too. Or, I mean, I spoke with her dad. I, I think I need to speak with her mom, too. Apparently, it's not... You must be another pilgrim on the... And, honest pay for honest work. and we can sell all our potatoes and cabbage. And then speak with, uh... Even if it means... If they just snuck out of town together... Marcianus is... If he knew that I'd keep him from hunting the poor boy down... Let him know that I'll watch out for them. Just want my daughter to be happy. Never settle down to have children. Sure, leave. Everyone Twice else does. Do it. <laughs> okay. So now I uh, this quest can be completed two ways. Um. So head into the left.
So I will pop in here and have a chat. You don't look like Oh, why did Bodhi send you to me? As do I. It's a puzzling situation. Actually, I kind of favored the other guy. You've been a good friend. Oh, faster. I'll bet Bassianus would know what's going on. What did you call me? Wait, you mean I should just tell Ismir's beard? You're right. No fish was ever caught by staying away from the shore. I'm off to see her. Yeah, so I guess I do lean a little bit towards uh, towards this guy. Not really sure why. Anyhow, he is off to talk with her. Apparently it doesn't matter that it's fairly late at night. Oh, well maybe it does matter. I'm going to slip in here. Hopefully I won't be kicked out. The game's... I have something to say to you. Clinic? What is it? I don't want you to leave Iverstead. Why not? Because I would miss you. But I thought you only cared about your fishing. What good are fish if you have to eat them alone? Oh, Clemic. Okay. So that is enough here. Yeah, so the game's uh, events do... The game has a great event system, but occasionally it gets a little bit wonky as it inter interacts with the system that, uh, that manages... Um, that manages uh, the changing of uh, times of day. Also, here we can kind of see that... Oh, come on. That the uh, quest markers sometimes get in the way of clicking on where you want to go. It is Everything all right? It's kind of goofy how the game plays with the concepts of race and identity. I'm not really sure whether we can safely say that it's that these are all big um, metaphors for uh, Calsomo, wise. This is the prayer heard by the goddess and relayed to her servants. Okay. So I don't think I've actually been to there yet, uh, or been to that city yet. Uh, oh, I think did I travel to the stables? I have traveled uh, to the stables. Yes. So the reason I didn't enter the city before is that there's an event that happens right as you step in, and it's an event where uh, you can either intervene or not intervene. And I generally like to intervene, but there's a chance if I were to try to do so at a very low level, I wouldn't be strong enough to prevent uh, to either prevent uh, what can go wrong with the event from happening or to avoid being killed. I think I'm probably strong enough now, so I will give it a go. Let's get my sword out, and get my shield in my left hand, and let's head into the city. So Markarth is interestingly differently corrupt uh, from Riften. In Riften, the corruption is all beneath the surface. And it probably doesn't involve the uh, the guard too much. In Markarth, the corruption is more uh, integrated with the running of the city. Uh, 
Mark Earth is also close to another uh, third faction in, in the war between the Stormcloaks. Okay. Okay, so this guy was gonna kill. He was going to kill a lady who was standing here. He tried to kill Margaret right in front of me. No, why would anyone want to kill her? It doesn't make any sense. By the gods, that man nearly killed me. You saved my life. So at a low level, uh, I might not have been able to have killed him in time. I was going to bring this to my sister, but I think you should have it. I'm sorry. I don't know anyone. Gods. I'm just visiting here from Cyril. Right streets. Are you all right? Did you see what happened? I'm so sorry. Oh, I think you dropped this. Some kind of note. Looks important. Hmm? No. I was just getting some fresh air. Okay, so this guy slipped me a note. And it might be in the... Okay, so meet me at the Shrine of Talos. That is his request. There are plenty of other things that, uh, that you can do. For now, I'm just going to run on by here. And head on up and into the uh, Jarl's Palace. So the quests in this city tend to be kind of involved, which is fun, but uh, they're not something where you can, If you, once you really get engrossed in them, you're going to be busy with taking care of things in Markarth for, uh, for a good while. accurate also to say hiding, I'm not hiding anything it's cl it's about the hall of the dead I can't talk about it rest it all right we've discovered that some of the dead have been eaten flesh has been chewed off here to see the yards snapped again okay so where am I going oh not this way my bad uh, I am going, I think, this way. So yeah, the Dwemer are a major topic in the game. Tell Kyle Simo. The excavation site is closed. I don't need any more workers or guards. You, you, it, I, I'm so persist. I'll let if you deal with Nimi. So he wants you to go hunt a spider that's been killing expeditions into the Dwemer site. Yes, they invent, and then, at a time we are still not sure. And, uh... I was beginning, ah, you see, I've been thinking about then you. The trouble is that I, my mouth, but I could never hope to approach her. That's the trouble. It's not a simple matter. I could, there is one, thankfully. Please, ask him what she likes. It's my only chance. So I think that's really cute. There's a old shy wizard dude. And he just needs a little bit of help to try and get romance started. And where is he? I think he's outside somewhere. This is what Argonians look like without any helmets. But yeah, so we did pick up Meridia's uh, sphere some time back. And at some point we're going to go and take care of, uh, of that. She gives you a pretty decent uh, sword. But also it's just, it's a really fun quest.
Then turn around. Blood and silver are what flows through Markarth. What? Why? Are you... It... Ah. As... I didn't tell you this. You know, I took... There's a poem I once used on it. Are you prepared to receive my gold? Wonderful. You should probably just let Felicity read it Thank yourself. you for your time. Don't want you stumbling over the words and ruin my flow. Okay. So that's a little, uh... Not a great... It's, uh, it's not a solid foundation for a relationship, somebody else's poetry, but... Such is the game. And by the game, I mean Skyrim, not the game of love. Although, certainly many stories have been written about this kind of thing. Uh, like, there was a Steve Martin film. Cannot, uh, I can't remember its name. Might have been Roxanne? I think it was Roxanne. Anyhow, when we talk to... Uh, do I want to give it to her or to him? Not sure if I can give it to him. Let's see if I can do that. I have things to study. What is it? Okay, not to him. I guess I have to give it to her. When I give it to her, that'll be a good break point. Since I believe I am running low on my allotted time for a YouTube video. sure what this is all about. This is lovely. Kelselmo wrote this? About me? I bet the Jarl was pretty weirded out to see this. Clearly. I've never even... Here, take in this letter. I may not be as eloquent as he is, but I hope he understands. You speak to Ig... Uh, but I can't. My scouts have tracked down one of the... We will see. I don't know you, but if you're willing to work... And you prove to be reliable. I'm. And everything is made of stone. My gods told me. I want to make. They're only a threat in the hills and along the road. Okay. Everywhere else. And let's talk with him. And so we have two bounties. And that'll be all for today. And this was a Let's Play Skyrim. I'll see you in the next uh, next episode.